Hey Magic Me on YouTube, T1 Glistrolf here. The FNM at home event this time around is Treasure Singleton. It's just standard singleton, but you get a treasure token every turn, which means every turn you get an extra mana. So I'm playing auras, which when you think you get you know a format where you get extra mana, you'd think go big, right? But I'm instead going to try to spam out my hand as quickly as I can. Uh, so this is what the deck looks like. It's it, it's one of, it's just a bunch of one of, so pause in 1080p. If you want to, I'm not going to go through all of them, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, well, yeah, sure. All State of Life's Bounty, Battlefield Raptor, Beloved Princess, Fairy Gu Guide Mother, Karametra's Blessing, Kite Scale Cleric, Selfless Savior, Sentinel's Eyes, Solid Footing, Speaker of the Heavens, you see the theme here, Usher of the Fallen, Valor of the Worthy, <laughs> Archfiend's Vessel, Dead Weight, Hateful Eidolon, Mogus Favor, All That Glitters is Gold, Containment Priest, Fencing Ace, Hushbringer, Indomitable Will, Knight's Pledge, Luminarch Ascension, Luminarty Ascension, Passivism, Rune of Sustenance, Shepherd of the Flock, uh, skip a bit, there we go, Silver Flame Squire, Spectral Steel, Transcendent Envoy, Trapped in the Tower, Youthful Knight, Eternal Thirst, Infernal Scarring, Myers Grasp, No Priest of Oblivion, Rune of Mortality, Rise to Glory, the only greater than 3 CMC uh, card in the deck, that's it, <laughs> and then a bunch of lands, so Castle Ardenvale, 10 Snow-Covered Plains, Castle Lockthwain, 4 Snow-Covered Swamps, Bright Climb Pathway, Great Hall of Starnheim, Scoured Baron, Snow-Filled Sinkhole, Temple of Silence, Savai Trium, and Indotha Trium. <sighs> cool! Alright, and again, pause in 1080p if you need to actually read any of those. The idea is that we're going to be playing a bunch of cheap creatures, loading them up with auras, and just swinging for hopefully a billion. At least that's the plan. And we'll see if that's actually what happens. Here's to hoping. <laughs> we can instead take advantage of going big instead of uh, going sm Well, we weren't kind of going big, but we're using a bunch of cards to do it. Hi, orange man with two ends. See, Orange Man. I'm an American, so I immediately think of one particular. Aha! That's a weird set of cards to start out with. Still, we'll keep it. We will keep it. Hmm. Okay. That seems like a pretty good turn one. Okay. So, we will play uh, Ardenvale and Pass. So this will give us an extra treasure token on the next turn. Uh, now, we'll probably only have access to three mana, though, but that's enough to get out a creature and Mogus favor, so we can kill... something, maybe? Probably not. Yes, 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 I get one. Cool! Oh, Snowfield Sinkhole! Uh, if it's going to come in tapped anyway, we'll play this, Luminarch Aspirant, and... Uh, yes, pay one. We can go to combat and then play Mogus favor. Go to combat first, put the counter on it. It's dead, isn't it? Yeah, about that. But next turn we're going to be able to at least add Luris to hand. And this is whenever you gain life for the first time. They don't have Luris, though, so we're just going to kill this thing real quick. I'm sure that they'll have a way to deal with it, but that's all right. So we'll have four mana, we can add Luris to hand and play a one drop, which we don't have. So we'll just build up the treasure token, save it for later. And we'll take three. Hey, we get another treasure, woo! Oh. You know what? And leave it be, let it be. I, I don't like where this is going. <laughs> ah, okay, so they're playing the same two color deck. Uh, but without giving up higher curve cards for Luris' sake. So next turn we'll be able to play Luris and get something out of our graveyard. Oh, and Dead Weight. Oh, okay. You know, wait a minute. We could do Mogus Favor and Dead... Well, how many cards do we have? Just two? No, we can't. Mogus Favor requires two other cards be gotten out. Hmm. Regardless, we'll play that. Luris? Um, I could do Deadweight, Mogus Favor, and kill it. 
Yeah, let's go for it. And we're playing the one out of the graveyard first, obviously. Alright. Is that it? Can we can we kill it? Aha, okay. That's not such a big deal. We have Rise to Glory next turn. It's not ideal, but we can make it work. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I only have two cards left in hand, so we could actually, for right now, go for Hateful Eidolon. All that glitters. It already has lifelink. And then hold up Indomitable Will. It's a 5-6. Hello, nurse. Yeah, let's save this for when we get out the uh, Luminarch Aspirant. Alright, pass turn. Alright, what you got? Light of Hope. This should proc off of itself, I believe. I'm almost positive that it does. Alright, yes. For each aura that uh, you control that was attached to it. So we draw two cards. That's why we do it that way. Alright. Bossary's Acolyte. Uh oh. Now that said, we don't have enough time to get back from this, do we? I'm pretty sure that we don't. Uh, return. Let's do both. Why not? One. Uh, we can't kill anything with a single one. So I guess let's go for all that glitters for the lifelink. Uh, attach all that glitters. Gee, I wonder how. I wonder how we're doing that. Um, let's put out a lifelink creature. Block with a lifelink creature. Maybe we can make it work. Maybe. Hopefully. At least they're running low on cards. If nothing else, they're running low on cards. Ah. No. Alright, that's game. That's a good game. Good game for me. Alright. Negative one goes zero, and I'm dead. Woo! I'm sure I could have played that better, right? But it felt closer than it actually was, perhaps. We ran them low on resources. Oh, my quest today. I m missed looking at what my quest is. I remember it's for 750 gold, but... Uh, I don't remember what it actually was. There we go. Have my hair down. I think it looks better. I don't know. Ask it five. Alright. Okay, but we have a better start at least. We'll, we'll take that. Do we want to start out? Yeah, I guess we want to put out the Aspirant first. Hello! Give it the, the Dark Souls. Hello! Mm. A snow-covered Island. Wolf Willow Hay- oh yay, ramp! Oh, I should have played land dest- uh, well, it's standard, so we don't have much land destruction, and it's, uh, singleton anyway. Alright. Let's play this. Woo! It's a 2-2! Two -two. Yay! Yeah, ramp actually would have been a good idea, hey? Okay? It's a 2-1 otherwise. Definitely one of the ones that was closer to the edge, closer to being cut. Ah, uh, well, I was waiting for Uro to show up. 
That would have been just my luck. In single. Well, no, it's banned. That's right, it's banned. It's banned. Banned, man. Mmm. Yeah, let's pop it. This had better be an instant. Okay, good. Oh, but it's three mana. Let's be careful. Yeah, let's just play it. Uh, well, it doesn't actually matter. We're about to have a 3-3 three, three regardless. Should I put it on the lifelink creature? Alright, we'll do it this way. Oh, put it on you. Yeah. Yeah. In that case, I probably should have put the scoured barons out. It's alright, though. It'll, it'll work out, I hope. I think. Maybe. Maybe. These are two creatures that can really get out of control. Sack a creature with the highest... what was it? Highest converted mana cost. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Alright. Hmm. Well, they'll still be able to activate their ability, so I'll save pacifism for now. And then what's the trick with you? Exile it from your graveyard. Okay. Mm, this would just be draw a card, so we probably want to put it on the raptor instead. Alright, fire away. Or alternatively, we could add Luris to hand. Yo, yep, draw a card. Yeah, in that case, I'm a I actually am pretty tempted to add Luris here. I have to pop it for you. Hmm. Or do we want to get out the Raptor? Flying First Strike Lifelink, draw a card. Maybe. Let's go for it. Pop it. And the next turn we'll have five mana with which to work. Alright, I'm waiting for a big gun to drop that pacifism on. Alright. When's it coming? That's a pretty big one. When it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for exactly two cards not with that name. That have different names. If you do, reveal those cards. An opponent chooses one of them. Put the chosen one into your hand, the other into your graveyard, then shuffle your library. Okay, so the, the way you break this is you get two cards you want in your graveyard, right? Maybe? I would imagine. That would do it, I suppose. Can't be countered. Begin of your upkeep. Create a... Let's give them a merchant ultimatum. Let's see. Although we are losing this one for sure. For sure. Let's see, so I still don't have a swamp. Pacifism goes here. So it can't block. Let's see, again, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they will get to cast it. Negate. Nice. Turn another target aura or equipment from your graveyard to your hand. Um, hmm, probably not a good idea to have played that now. I was reading it, dragged it, and I dragged it too far. That's, that's on me. Oops. Oops. Whale. It looks like this one's not, not going our way. No, it's not, but we kept them off, nope, okay. I was about to say we kept them off of Emergent Ultimatum for a turn. An opponent chooses one of those cards. Shuffle that card into your library. You can cast the others without paying their mana cost. Monocolor cards with different names. Doesn't have to be different colors, just different names. 
so it's it's pretty all right. We choose the one that they don't get to cast. Let's see. And a single tent, so no more demons. Yeah, this is probably the way that you're, you're supposed to build a deck for it, instead of going small like me. Probably supposed to... All right, here we are. You... Don't get Shark Typhoon. There we go. Alright. Well, ow. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Um, whale. We definitely don't want you to attack or block. But we're not going to be able to get this big enough. Even counting an artifact, if we could get one more point of power, we could stop one of them. Uh, but we can't, so alas. Alas, give him the good game. And call it there. Well, that's a drag. We're 2 going into it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this one again, but it may be the case that we need to change, change things up a bit. Just play our big bombs. It is Treasure Singleton, after all. But I, I don't know. I can't help it. I, I like playing decks where I can just overwhelm the opponent quickly with spells. You know, I play Infect, after all. Esperance. Okay. Uh, we'll make it work. We have a 1-1 one, one flyer. We have that going for us. And we have all that glitters. Best pump in, in the format right now. Or, uh, best or I should say. Let's see what we get. We get another land. I think we're good on lands. Alright, and... Uh, sure. Let's just get it out now. I think that'll be alright. It's not like we have anything else that we can pump with it anyway, so, sure. Run out the 1-1. One, one. Now, Trapped in the Tower doesn't work on creatures uh, with flying, which is to say, creatures that could block Fairy Guide Mother. Alright, let's see if it's dead. No, it's a forest. Well, uh, this is treasure, that doesn't mean anything. Ooh, big mana. Doubling down on the theme. I like that. Lifelink, and whenever a creature an opponent controls dies. Plus one, plus one. Alright. Hmm, so it'll still be a 1-1, one, one. it just happens to gain one here. I'm just going to drop... wait a minute. Activated abilities. Triggered abilities are fine. Yeah, I'll just, uh... Drop all the glitters. This thing gets huge because of our treasure tokens. You know, as you do, I suppose. As you do. Alright. There's red mana. We're not out of range just yet, though. When we get a little bit bigger than we will be. Questing beast. Aha! Ow. Alright, it's even bigger now. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, first things first. Hmm. None of you. No mas. And then we'll sacrifice... We aren't actually even sacrificing a point of power because we lost an artifact and gained an enchantment. Like that. But lifelink, though. And we have a menace lifelink creature here, too, if we need. It's pretty okay. It's pretty good. Now, seeing those colors, green and red, makes me think that they can't do much about this. Although, green can deal with enchantments, so if they can hit that all that glow- Oh, wait, wait, wait. Soul Seer is in the format, right? So I get, that's a 3 mana 5 damage. That could do it. And that gets around indestructive. Bibble. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Nice. 
Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I hate to do this. I whoa. Yeah, we don't have anything in the yard, that's right. The good news is they still can't attack with questing beast at least. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, okay. Alright, so they are going to let it kill itself here. No, it, it won't kill itself. Each tapped creature deals damage to itself equal to its power. Oh, but that's not going to affect them. It'll only affect me, won't it? Alright. Okay. Well, right now it's going to be able to swing through without a problem. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, then. So I can get it up to a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, it's going to have to attack anyway. I'll still be able to kill the Lotus Cobra. Let's see. How are we going to make this work? How are we going to make this work? I do not know. Alright, I'm, I'm trying to think. Indomitable Will, 3-3, three, three, gain 3, still kills the Lotus Cobra, go to 12... Alright. Um... This may be wrong. This may be absolutely wrong. Oh, fine. You're funny. You're funny, aren't you? Yeah, you must attack. So this could have gone better. Oh, never mind. They didn't go for it. Alright. I don't think we want to cast it just yet, do we? I could be wrong. Maybe we do want to cast it. Yeah, we do. Because they have a Lotus... Well, we can't block Lotus Cobra anyway, though. Alright. When it dies, you may pay any amount of red. When you do, it deals that much damage to any target. Oh boy, oh boy. Alright. Each tapped creature deals damage to itself? Well, here we go. Bang. Alright. So it did put a counter back on my creature, at least. For whatever little that may be worth. And we'll get to cast something else again in just a bit. We survived it. Somehow. On the one hand, look how many cards they have in their hand. On the other hand, look how many cards we have in our hand. It's not zero, kind of. Kind of. By the way, this is the one that lets you make a Sarah Angel. So it's, it's not bad either. Only any time you can cast a sorcery, though. Which one is this? Can't be countered. Attacks each combat if able. Alright, whenever a creature you control does combat damage to a player, draw a card. Interesting. Oh god. Oh god. I know what that's destroying. Jeez, I know what that's destroying. That is a... Okay, what's the, the base creature here again? I'd like to see the base creature one more time. It... okay, never mind. Let them draw a card. How, how do you take a look underneath? Alright, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Alright. Hmm. Well... Let's put it on the indestructible creature. And get this right back out. Um, yeah, attack with our 8-8 lifelink creature. 
Again, they'll get to draw a card, but we do what we have to do. Next turn, we'll be able to put out a 4-4. Four four. Though I, I want to be wary about attacking with it. Uh, destroy target non-land permanent and opponent controls. Jeez. Okay, so that happened. So that happened. We can sack Great Hall and then put uh, all the glitters onto it. I guess that would be a thing. Robber of the Rich. Uh-oh. This isn't getting any easier. <sighs> so what's the next one here? You get to draw even more cards. Forest, Battlefield tapped. Creatures you control gain Death Touch. Which one is this? Tap up to two target creatures. That doesn't help. If it had flashed, that'd be another story, I guess. Mmm. Only when you can activate a sorcery anyway. Oh, crap. Ooh, thank goodness that lets you cancel. I, I completely missed the sack and another creature. Ooh, that would have been bad. That would have been terrible. Okay, uh, sure. And then that's game. I, I don't know if they... Maybe they missed it, but, uh... Okay. Because I, I actually was so focused in on playing that land and getting the, uh, the Sarah Angel that I missed that they left themselves open. Uh, that, that could have gone better. Ooh, non-Archon creatures have base power and toughness 3-3, three, three, enters the battlefield, create two one ones, but effectively 3-3s. Three, okay. Now that does apply to your opponent's creatures as well that aren't Archons. Okay. That's kind of neat. That's kind of nifty. Uh, we, whatever our quest was, we just accomplished it. Huh. Well, that wasn't exactly a, the pinnacle of gaming, but we take those, I guess. Hi, Shin. Or Shin. Shin, right. In any case, I've seen you before. Okay, let's keep this all creature hand. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. We're gonna not play the Triome out so that we can try to cycle it later on. Because this looks like the kind of hand where we need to cycle it. It's, I guess, better than going to six. At least that's the hope. Alright, so we'll play this and get out all Seed of Life's Bounty. Cool. Uh, up to three mana next turn. Woo! Ah, uh, is it dead? No? Okay. Well, that's alright. That's alright. Hmm. Hmm. And then I guess we'll start out by attacking, right? Test the waters a bit. Cool. Uh, yeah. Hushbringer. See what silliness they might have going on. Silliness. There's a term. It's a very technical magic term. Silliness. Well, they have a ton of mana. Whatever they whatever they do have, they have a ton of mana. And geez, three colors. <laughs> Waiting for it. Goldspan Dragon. I've heard this card is decently expensive now. Tax uh, or becomes the target of a spell. Create a treasure. All right. So treasure. Ah. Uh... Ah, uh, huh. Okay, okay. That's not fair. That's a thing, I guess. Well, geez. Ooh. Uh, so we can pop the treasure here in order to make it disappear. Yeah, so it just goes to the graveyard. Thundering Rebuke. Alright. Activate. 
Put it on here. Pro Red. Pro Red. Yeah, we don't want that exiled. Uh, yeah. No, no, that's not the one that exiles. Well, this could have been going better, I suppose. Just a little bit. Just a lot, actually. Alright, so pop this here. They're gonna get a treasure. I know. I know. That's unfortunate, but you do what you have to do, I guess. Um... Yeah. Yeah, about that. I guess we just wait. Gold Span Dragon. You would think that there would be a custom ban list that would include that. Ah. Click. Click. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we saw four colors, actually, counting their lands, right? Ah! Five-color good stuff. That's what I should do. Next time the Treasure Singleton event rolls around, five-color good stuff. Instead of trying to spam some cheap spells, just hurl bombs at people. That's the secret sauce, right? You can start out with a double-strike creature, but I don't have any uh, auras right now. Still, we keep for sure. Um, well, without auras, I guess we want to start off with the vessel, don't we? At least that's what I, I think is probably better. Be vessel, build up a token. Oh, that's good. What I would do for some dead weight right about now. Yeah. Just play Archfiend's Vessel, and if it dies, we'll get something cool out of it later. Get a 5-5 five, five flyer. Thank you, Luris. And even if not, it's dead. Ahem. Ahem. Okay. Block it. I dare you. Nope. Okay. Uh, so it has flying. We can't use Trapped in the Tower on it. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. But, but, activated abilities can't be activated. Say what? Alright. Enough of you. What else would I like to get out? Anything? This one can at least first strike flying. I might eventually be able to get it big enough to take out the tyrant. Oh boy. We'll pop one. Save the other. So I guess we are a dead. Yeah, yeah, let's do the other one as well. Ooh, alright. Okay. So left with only three mana. What do you feel like doing? What do you feel like doing? And no red mana other than their treasure, which is something they can say from turn to turn anyway. Okay. Here we go. Hmm. Would we like to kill it? Would we like to kill that thing? I think that the answer might be yes. Let's keep them off of cards as best we can. Plus we'll gain some life. Oh, I swear to God. What do you have for, for green mana? Ah. Uh... That's, that's good. Ah, the Infect player me should have seen that coming. Sh definitely should have. Well, that, that happened. That definitely happened. Hmm. Okay, then. In that case, we def we want to keep the Archfiend's Vessel back. Can use... This is an instant. Oh no, this is a sorcery. Ooh. This is an instant. It'd be nice to have the flyer still around for that then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. I see that. Alright. Go in here. 
no point in not. I'm doing it anyway. Let you do your thing. Gain three life back. Alright, we're technically ahead, but realistically, eh, not so much. Not so much. Questing beast. Okay, so we'll still block the 3 3. Yeah. Obvious block is obvious. Can't get Lurus out just yet, though. Ooh! Now, with Knight's Pledge... Wait, 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 wait. We could do Double Strike here. So, Fencing Ace, Knight's Pledge. I guess. That could be a thing. Or we could go Knight's Pledge, Hateful Idol on Attack, but they'll definitely know something's up. That They won't fall for that. I would be very surprised if they fall for that. Let's see. Save it. Alright. I swear, if they if they find another way to give it a counter. Ah! <laughs> oh no! You know what? You know what? Forget about it. I, I have a I have an idea. I have a I have a secret secret plan. Secret plan. Alright, so. We're going to click on this, we're going to make a new deck, uh, step one, add. We just look for anything that adds mana. Uh, we would like to add, uh, probably you, but since you're only for creatures, let's give you a bit. And you, and you, and you, and you, uh, you know what, Pro you? Anything else? Uh, I saw that. Uh, yeah, let, let, okay, so we have already... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cards. Cool, that seems alright. Now let's add Great Hinge. And... Now... Uh, start at four. For uh, standard. Oh well, it's already it should already be in standard for green. Well, we can do better than that. We don't. It doesn't have to be just green. So anything, anything at all. Heck, do, let's sort by creature so we can get the other dude back in. Humble naturalist was it? Humble naturalist, where were you? Uh, oh yeah, because we have to. We, <laughs> no, I just. I, that's right. Let me get this. Get this dude in real quick. Where'd you go? Right here. Untap creature you control. No. No, thank you. Thank you, though. Uh... Alright, cool. Now, we can do this bit. Alright. So, let's see. Uh, you know what? Let's add you. Let's add you. Let's add you. Let's add... I don't know. This seems like it might be okay. Uh, you're banned. Rip. Rip. Uh, you know what? Let's go even higher. Oh, wait a minute. We have Taz. Uh, it's okay. We have, we have Tazri. Um, let's go. Uh, questing Beast. And then we'll just add a bunch of stuff that's even bigger. How about we, we really go all out and just start it at six? Alright. What's the biggest junk we can find here? Yep, okay, th that's that's okay. That seems like it might be something. What else? What else? That seems like it might be something. Let me pick something else that's huge, right? Uh, I mean, huge, but not terrible. Mmm, not terrible. Um, sure, that's an unblockable 6-6. Six, six. Is that worth it? Probably not. Pursued Whale. Yes. Waker of... Oh, no. No. Where'd you go? Get out. Get out. <laughs> that one is bad, though. Uh, sure. Why not? How about we also throw in... Uh... How about this? That that seems okay. That's in standard now. Heck yeah, that seems, that seems cool. What's another thing that's good? 
What are we at now? 42? We have lots of room to go. Uh, we could make a an 8-8 eight, eight for 8 that has death touch because giant creatures totally need death touch. <laughs> I suppose. I suppose. You know what? There's a Reaper of Night. That does something on both ends. Let's, let's put that in. Why not? How about something else that's big? Uh, like you or uh, something else. Uh, <laughs> You know what? We have all the mana in the world. I guess we could try to finish them off with that. Oh, we could put a Trample Haste 8-8. Eight eight. That's cool. Doesn't do anything else that we care about. Destroys all walls. Uh, no. How about a 7-6 Vigilance Trample? Sure, why not? We want to play Colossal Meme Maw? Dread Meme? We could do that too if we feel like it. We could play... <laughs> I should do it just because I can. Uh, uh him, him? There we are. We could play you, because you actually do something. You do something. Uh, what does this even do? Hexproof Haste. This is one of those weird spells that... No, let's not. I mean, I mean, you know, we do have a lot of mana. I, I guess that is true. <laughs> I guess. Hey, definitely that. Definitely that. Definitely that. What are we at now? 53? We still have more room to go? Definitely that. How about you? Why not? I've been neglecting all the multicolored stuff all this time. I guess there isn't as much as I thought there was. Really? Really? Is there not? Oh, well, you know what? We've been keeping the creatures. Let's add in some planeswalkers. Because we can. Let's put Ugin in, even though we're playing a bunch of... Well, no, we're high curve. We can make it work. Uh, three more to go, right? How about... Uh... Giant instants and sorceries and enchantments and artifacts, because why not? You know, seven mana lands. Let's see if there are any of those. Totally. Uh, hmm. Hmm. We could play Dio Brando's spell. That'd be cool. We could play this. Because we can, I suppose. Uh, that's probably not even a bad idea. We could play this because we can. We could end the game with you. We could play this and then call it a day. I totally. Now, you'd think we need a decent mana base. And you would be right. So. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I started killing, <laughs> killing stuff we actually want. Oops. You know, let's do it from the bottom. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. I guess I have two more I need to add in later. This is live deck building with T1 Glistener Elf. Because why the heck not, right? Let's sort back to get our, to get our, what was it? We had, uh, I remember Titanoth Rex was one of the ones I clicked off of. And then who even knows what the other one was? Because I sure don't. It was, uh, there we go, there we go. Cool. Was it maybe some multicolored junk? Some multicolored jank? Probably. Oh no, you're still here. Who even knows? I don't. I don't have a clue. We'll do. Um. Let's see. Oh well, no, it's not another planeswalker, right? Because Garuk is already still here. Cool. Uh, let's see. Take that out. One, two, three, four. This gives you a scary look into my mind, right? <laughs> the silliness that's going on here. We can do that because... Oh! No, we already have that. You know what? Let's draw seven cards. Why not? We can. Oh, it was, a. Uh, it was the, uh, Great Hinge. That's what it was. That's what it was. That's gotta be better than Tree Shaker Chimera, right? Surely. Surely that's better. It totally is. Okay. So, in that case... Type in the word great. There you are. Cool. Now, back to our back to our silly lands. We had uh, all of these. Yet multicolored lands. See which ones we have. Uh huh. That's right. I was kidding earlier, but yeah, no, no seven mana multicolored lands. So here's what you do. Here's the secret sauce. You sort all the way into the back where you get to your triomes, and you go one, two, three, four, and then you remember that this is singleton, and you can't do that actually. So then you realize you have to go all the way back through this, 
and add in some random like temples. Let's just go ahead and add in all the temples. I'm not even sure I have all of them, but we, we're going to do it because why not? We can. Uh, you and you and you, and I'm not even getting the first edition of each one because why bother, right? Why bother? Uh, that one and that one, and I guess I missed some, right? So let's see, how many lands do we have now? Fifteen. Yeah, a little off. Okay, uh, let's go add some green ones to everything that's green because turns out we need a decent bit of that, don't we? Alright, so we'll add in you, you do something, you do something, uh, you do something, you do something, and the same, skip a bit, skip a bit, you do something, you're cool, you're awesome, I love you, and we're at 60. Pile a junk dot deck. Pile a junk dot deck. There we go. Alright. So that's how you build a deck with T1 Glistener Elf. Oh, you know what? It might help if we actually switch to the deck, I swear to God. Okay, <laughs> if it immediately put me into one right after that. Uh, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's pile a junk dot deck. Let's play that instead. This can only go up. We were already not doing all that great, so it can only go up from there. Hey. Uh, I swear when, when there are stakes, I'll, pl I'll deck build more seriously for sure, but this is Treasure Singleton, the most serious of formats, right? Illumisil, right? Uh, you know what? Sure. Why the heck not? What could possibly go wrong? I guess we want to start off with Temple of Mystery so we can try to scry into a spell we can cast, maybe? Maybe? That's a, a thing. If we had any untapped mana, we could cast that next turn, deprive them of a couple cards. Uh, we probably still ought to do that, right? Yeah, let, let's draw it. We'll use Beanstalk Giant next turn. You know what? Or, or let's not use Beanstalk Giant, because I did not put any basic lands in this deck. <laughs> Don't! Don't! Instead, let's cycle Titanoth Rex, because I am a genius. Ah, uh, yeah, let's use a temple first. See what we got. See what we have. Uh, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. There we are. And let's not cycle, because that would actually deprive us of mana. Let's not say we didn't. Alright, so they're doing what I was doing, I suppose. Playing cheap stuff. Oh! Oh! Hello, unless you control four more artifacts. Jeez, I wonder how they're, how they're going to manage that. I wonder. Uh, I probably should have kept the land on top, actually. We, we have Ugin to win the game for us, if we can get there. Uh, but why be... Why be good when you can be lucky, right? That's how this works, isn't it? Uh huh. It doesn't matter. Sure, why not? Why not? And pass. We're we're on the mono beat them with Ugin plan, I guess. Mono beat them with Ugin. Beat them with Eugene. See if we can pull one of our pathways. Well, it's mono-red so far, so... Tibble's trickery or, trickery or bust, right? Mecha Godzilla. Okay, so they won't, we won't be able to wipe out literally everything uh, with Ugin. Not quite. Literally everything, jeez. Alright, we eat another two here. Oh wait, well, we'll see if it gets haste, right? Is haste one of the abilities it can get? Uh, huh. Interesting, it's not. I guess that's probably fair. Alright. Yeah, no creatures were harmed in the making of this film. Hi, Rugged Highlands. Let's gain life. And now, for my next trick, 
we can make them discard a couple cards. We burn one of our treasure tokens, but that's okay because we'll have another one and then we'll play Ugin next turn. So it works out, I guess, maybe, if I'm seeing this correctly, before I mess this up. Sure, why not? Parnet discards two cards. Yeah, let's auto pay, da da da. -da. There we go. Woo! Poor Beanstalk Giant. And play you. Boop. Oh yeah, it's it's like we played one already. That's right. Ooh, Phoenix of Ash. I like that card. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's pretty neat. Let's see what this thing gets now. Terror of the Peaks. Jeez. Zus. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter, so... Yay, I guess. Alright, so what's the highest CMC? It's, a uh, 5, isn't it? We're gonna do it for 5. We'll do it live! Alright, hi, Ugin! And maybe they'll just concede? That would be neat. That would be cool. It's weird being on this side of the table doing that. Alright, now that said, Ugin is dead here. But that's okay, we just pulled, what was that, a 3 for 1? I think we're okay. I think we'll live. So this has Vigilance, Menace... Yeah, I say Thorn Mammoth sh teaches it a lesson. That'll be cool. That'll be neat. Oh, and it got a counter. Cool. Dead Ugin is dead. So they didn't concede. Alright, so not enough for Mammoth yet. How about instead we uh, massacre the board? That's cool. That's a thing we can do. Alright, just the one, and then they lose two life, and then they get another. Yay! Woo! Woo! We can't block, though, sadly. And we're still only going to have six next turn, but, you know, I thought we might want to actually kill one of their creatures and put out a blocker. I guess that's important. Alright, it has menace, so they can swing through if they feel like it. And they do. And I don't blame them. I guess. I guess. Alright. Uh, how's about we put out this little guy, draw a card, see what the cards have for us. Oh no, it's a Waker of Waves. Oh no. Oh no. Well, we can maybe cast that next turn, but more importantly, I guess we can hang on to you or cycle it. Let's cycle it. Well, you know, we can use its activated ability. Yeah, let's cycle it. Waker Waves is realistic to cast, at least. Hey, we got a land! Woo! Let's play it! We have stuff we can do. I say we leave it. Uh, we leave it. Uh, what'd you pick up this time? Flying? Of course you did. Of course you did. Of freaking course. Alright, but it's okay, because now we have a Mammoth coming out next turn, so that works out for us. Uh, you know what? This costs three mana. One, two, three. And then Mammoth will cost so One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? Right, am I seeing that correctly? Alright, so we do Great Hinge first. This will also gain us a little bit of life. Woo! Add a couple. Then do this. Ooh! We still get a treasure. After all said and done, fight. And it's a 7-7, seven, seven, and we drew a card, and we're at 7 life. Uh, yeah, and we get to swing over. Try to try to maybe end this, hopefully. Crossing fingers, maybe. Uh-oh, what's about to happen? Uh-oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Alright, two damage target creature or planeswalker. Oh, yep. There we go, that makes sense. And then they lose two because Masker Worm is a jerk. This is what happens when you tr play tribal big stuff. Tribal junk. Tribal pile of junk. You get to just occasionally... F win without actually being good, <laughs> I suppose. Alright, so it's a 3-3 flyer.
Uh oh. Oh no, are you serious? Oh no, I jinxed it. Oh no, <laughs> they got me. Oh no, why did I have to say that? Why did I have to say anything? No! Ah, oh, the chicken fried me. No! No! Alright. Alright. Alright, well I deserve that. We're gonna get one more win in. We're not going to add in a basic plan for Beanstalk Giant, it's just going to be there, I guess. Yeah, Ugin did not win us the game. Rip. Interesting seeing a monocolor deck, though, in a five-color format, I guess. Hi, Water. I wonder what color you play. I wonder. Sure, this looks completely unplayable. Look at that curve. It starts at six. Uh, it starts at five, excuse me. Let's go. What could possibly go wrong? Yes. Yes could go wrong. Uh, no. No, 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 no. We actually do need lands. Lands would be nice. Lands would be pretty. Precious. That would be cool. Number of lands you control and non-token creatures you control are forest lands. Okay, yay for more ramp. They w used up a treasure token to get ramp. Okay. I mean, if it works, right? If it works. And then we just call it. Call it right there. Whoop. There we go. Yeah, let me just auto pass. See if it'll let me do that. That seems pretty good in this format too. Oh my goodness. That seems really good. Beanstalk Giant, I know what you're getting replaced with in the likely event that we lose this one. Because just look at this. Look at this madness. Uh-huh. Huh. Okay. Hmm. I think we're supposed to wait here. Oh, oops, 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 oops. Doug Dimmadome. Owner of the Dimsdale Dimmadome. Uh, scrap. More land. We might need something else at this point. Maybe. Just maybe. As we prepare to eat a ton of damage. As you do, I guess. As you do. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, gee, I know what Thorn Mammoth is going to try to fight here in a sec. Oh, that's good. That seems okay. Alright, red floating... Four mana. What you got? Aha! Uh -huh. Well, I, I'm glad to not have to see that. At least. Ow. 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 Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright. Well, I wonder... <laughs> Peace was never an option. Peace was never an option. Hiya. Yep. Draw your last pathetic card, Yugi. My grandpa's deck has no pathetic cards, Kaiba. Alright. Yo! Yo! That seems okay. Alright, uh, next turn we only have access to five, though, so that's a Shia. But, Shia enters and Thorn Mammoth gets to fight something. So at least there's that. At least there is that. Okay. Okay. It's not looking quite as hopeless as I thought it would. It's still not great, but we'll make it work, maybe. Crossing fingers, hidden dragon. Alright. Oh no. Oh no. That's fine. Oh, hi. That seems okay. This is the one that turns into a wolf, right? Yep. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 
or another creature enters, this thing gets to foot. How about we don't have the second green? Ooh, we're going to have to pop a treasure no matter what if we're going to play either one of these. So, hmm. Hmm. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god. What are we fighting here? What are we fighting for? How about we fight you? There. Just the one. And then we're good. Get rid of some of their mana. Maybe that's not even the right answer, but... Yeah. It's okay. We can always kill this thing later on. Plus we're about to... Oh, it really was the wrong answer. We have Massacre Worm coming up. We only need one more black mana, and that comes from our treasure token, so... Oops! Yeah, that was that was wrong. Uh, creatures your opponents control, at least, so we can fight the Lovestruck Beast and still be able to keep our Mammoth. At least there's that. Hmm. Hmm. No, it, it might still work out, giving them one less mana. Not sure, but we'll see. Oh, hi, Glass Bull Mimic. So we're not going to be able to kill them all anyway. Ow. Hmm. In that case, we could have Kogla fight one, Thorn Mammoth fight the other. I guess that could work, right? We have... Yeah, we can do that. We can make that work. So Kogla fight you. Thor Mammoth fight you. That grammar. Kogla fight you! Thor Mammoth fight you! Hmm. Hmm. Hiya. Yeah. Block with your Muesli 1 1. Uh. I don't know. Ooh. Hmm. Sure. Play a land. There we go. <laughs> Whatever this is. <sighs> That'll be fun. That'll be fun. Looking forward to that. Let's see what they play here. It, we might be able to win just off Massacre Worm coming up. Play tiny creatures, win tiny prizes. Or, you know, we're just randomly going to get killed by a chicken out of nowhere. Ah! <laughs> Alright. When it attacks, it gets to blow up the exploration, too. Uh, Maze Mind Tongue will be gone, of course, by that point. I'm assuming that they're going to just draw a card. Nope. Scatter... Ooh, Shatter Skull Smashing. Okay. Whale? Hmm. 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 Oh. I'd rather actually tap up, tap one of these. Doot. 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 All right. I don't know that we necessarily need to do that, but sure, why not? And tap it for green. For you. We do what we must because we can. Uh, not quite enough for you though, buddy. Not just yet. Ah. That's okay. I give up uh, a little bit of damage. I think it'll be worth. I hope it'll be worth it in just a sec. What I do to make this Shivan Dragon have haste? Because that's pretty much... This is just basically Shivan Dragon, isn't it? I think it has a different mana cost, maybe? I, I don't remember Shivan Dragon's mana cost off the top of my head. Oh, hi. Okay, moment of truth, I guess. Any number of permanent cards. Hello. Hello. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. 
Masker Worm can't kill anything there. Ew. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh -huh. Whale? Actually, it might be able to. It might. Just maybe. Just maybe. Alright. How about the... Alright, let's see how they're about to do this. Alright, so here, here we go. Draw a card, gain four life. Cool. 420. For just a moment, it said 420. Alright. What's it going to be? Okay. So it, it actually, if they block the questing beast and kill it? No, they're not. Oh yeah, they are. No? Huh, that's not what I was... That's not how I thought it was going to work, but okay. That works, I guess. Maybe. Totally. Let's do it this way. Because it totally matters here. Okay. I was thinking they could double block the questing beast, but uh... No? No? We got, we got there. Alright. So, Kogla would still get to blow something up, but no, we're too cool for that. We're too cool for school. Ah, I see what you did there. And then they lose two, and then... Uh, no point in... If I play the Gilded Goose, it's just going to... I'm going to lose the, uh, food token anyway. So I don't know that that's needed right now. Yeah, let's just leave it. What you got? Hmm. Yeah, at this life total, I think I kind of have to. Alright, right. they lose two more. Yeet. Yeet. Hi, Vivian. That's not good. Oh boy. Which one is that? Uh. Which one is that? Vigilance. Okay. Okay. Well, gee, I wonder what the... Ooh. I'm about to say I wonder what the play is. All non-giants. Hmm. And we still want to put out the Hellkai Punisher. Let's do it. Let's do it. And then if they want to get cute, we can try blowing stuff up, but I'd rather not lose my non-giant, sadly. Whale, we're trying, folks. We're trying. Next turn, we can play a 7-7 Vigilance creature. That's cool. That's always fun. And Vivian has a static ability instead of an ult. So at least there's that, I guess. Hello, that's good. Actually, I am kind of getting not flooded. I was expecting I'd get flooded at some point here. And again, that exploration helps out. Just a, just a bit. Alright, what you got? Make a token, one with reach. Ah. Uh, oh, it's not a good game yet. Let's see what they have. Yeah, yeah. Let's blow stuff up. They deserve it. They deserve it. Boom. They. Oh. Just like that. Boop. Yay. And then you. A treasure and a food. Oh. Hey. So my Gilded Goose is going to have to attack. Except I could tap it for mana so that it doesn't. But, you know, you get the idea. Ah. And that's a good game. That's a good game. That's unfortunate. That's a thing. Pile of junk, living up to its name, I suppose. But I've got to get two wins while we're on, so let's try it again. Let's try it. We're more than an hour in, and I have one win to my name. 
Well, come on. <laughs> and the win-win was a misplay on the opponent's part. Uh, sure. Sure. I mean, two lands into a Llanowar Visionary, maybe. Maybe. Hopefully. Alright. Play that. And then what? Temple of Triumph? And then we can go from there, see how we want to do it. Okay. Woo! We get more. We get all of the things. Alright. Land? Yeah, that's a land. So we keep. We'll keep it. Pass. Uh, if we didn't happen to make a land, we could use the Florahedron. Oh, hi. Two one ones. Cool. Yay. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's good. When you sneeze and you just let it run out. Ow. Ow. Solemn Snape. That's not a bad card, for sure. Solemn Snape. Okay. What do we get? So with access to five mana, you get nothing. Good day, sir. Not yet, anyway. Soon enough. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We want to use this first, if that's what we're going to... No! We could actually cast the Waker. Cast the Waker. Yeah, I suppose that's alright. Ooh. Ooh. Uh... Sh sure. Why not? Get even more mana. And now we will be fully loaded for the coming turn. Uh, I guess the game plan now is... Uh, <laughs> Look at this still ridiculously huge Great Henge. That's not good. That's not getting us anywhere just yet. So we'll probably play Waker first, I imagine, and then that will turn Henge into a cheaper card in future turns. Treacherous Blessing. Okay. Seems good in a singleton format. Anything that lets you draw through that many cards seems good. All right. And maybe we can even make a copy of Waker thanks to Sublime Epiphany. Once we get there, yes, onto my turn. Uh, whoop. You. That seems okay. And then play that. And now there are O ones with Lifelink. Super relevant. Super relevant. Hmm. We could actually play the Great Hinge and then just hold up the mana. Ah. Well, okay then. Didn't have quite one more turn and we could have tried to make use of that, I guess. Well, no, I guess about it. We could have made use of that. That's a bummer. Uh, and now we're far enough away from... Well, we can still cast Cure at best the Sea God. Let's see. What is this? Yeah, and we're going to want to do this now, I think. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. It's not ideal, but we'll make it work. Alright, it has Hexproof, so no silliness here. Yeah, let's keep the Thorn Mammoth. That seems okay. We can't cast it next turn, but... Yeah. Great Hinge will cost one green green. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, so it's about to tap everything down. Well, gee, I wonder. So they'll gain one, lose a creature they were... And it's gonna be tapped anyway. Hmm. I'm actually surprised they didn't try attacking with the Simulacrum. Just for the extra two. I'm obviously not blocking. Ah, oh, that's why. 
Okay. That would be why. Okay, fair enough, I guess. And I get I got to draw a card. That's cool. They did too, but that's beside the point. That doesn't matter. <laughs> totally doesn't matter. Alright. So it taps everything down. Cool. Hmm. Well, with access to only five mana, I don't know that I want to play the Ugin out just yet. We can hold up Sublime Epiphany, except until your next turn. Yeah, we're going to hold up Sublime Epiphany. That'll do it. Alright, so now it's normal again. Okay, that's cool. That's worth it. Uh, yep. Get a basic out. That seems okay. Let me read over this again. Activator triggered ability. Return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Create a token that's a copy of target creature you control. And then target player draws a card. So, uh, yeah, I guess I should have wanted to play a creature out first. Make it work. Alright. So, gain? No, oh, that's fine. It works out. Although, you may draw a card. That I think that gives them a card, if I'm not mistaken. I, I could be wrong, but, you know. You know. Alright. So with Ugin still out, again, I'm not sure I want to go all in just yet. Uh, this actually has a true mana cost of high enough that Ugin doesn't care. I guess we'll play it out, but then we lose holding up Sublime Epiphany again. Um, in turn. Okay, here goes nothing, I guess. I'm waiting for it. It's bound to happen, right? They're, they're definitely in the better spot. They have Castle Arden Vale. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Elder Gargaroth. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Counter target spell. Return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Cop create a token that's a copy of target creature you control. Target player draws a card. Uh. Target non-land permanent. Uh. Let's make it... We could just blank a treasure. We could return this, but that's not ideal. Yeah, let's just blank a treasure token. Target creature you control. Target a player. I'll draw a card. Alright, time to find out if this works the way I think it works. We should be able to get a copy of Solemn Simulacrum, which does nothing for us. We don't have any basics, but, you know. Yeah, I didn't give them one. That's good. That's good. Uh, decline. So yeah, that happened. That happened. I mean, I guess. Okay, what else do you got? What else do you have? We traded six mana for five mana, but we got some stuff. We sure did. Ooh. Some stuff. Somehow I'm going to find a way to lose this game, too, aren't I? Uh, huh. Lose three life, discard a card, sack a non-land permanent. That's easy. Alright. So let's see. We're still... Ah, oh, we're almost there. We're one away. We're so close. We're so close, folks. But now there's not really a reason not to, I suppose. Now let's just play the Great Hinge. Yeah, popping them all, I know, I know. Alright. want to be careful about... Let's see, it's Z to undo. Ooh, you can do that. 
Um, let's see. Yeah, let's just play the land out. Well, you can't. That's right. I'm I'm a genius, folks. I swear I'm good at this game. I swear. Hiya. Um, in that case, I don't know that I want to play out the Lenoir Visionary because of Ugin. Uh, we're just going to lose it anyway. But it does draw us a card, so maybe it's still the right thing to do. Maybe. Hopefully. Alright, let's try it. I mean, it's a 3-3, so that's cool. And we draw another card. What do we discard? Probably an, a redundant land, right? Discard... Temple, probably? I guess? Yeah, discard Temple. Itchy Nose is itchy. Note, I only have one red mana out. Well, notwithstanding the treasure token that's coming. This is a fun card, though. Ooh, hi! Alright, let's find out. Who gets the card? We get the card. Because we controlled it. Nice! Okay. I actually wasn't sure how that worked. Hmm. They have enough mana, they can just do this repeatedly, don't they? Uh, what was that? Oh, they have, they're indestructible? Uh, we have enough. They're indestructible, you say? Well, that, that totally matters. Totally matters. Trust me. Alright, so let's discard a card. Let's discard you. Discard, discard. Uh, I should have done the mystic. Yeah, I definitely should have done the mystic. Oh well. Oh whale. All right. So, pop it. Let's go. Let's go. Four. Yeah, we got. Finally, we got somewhere. Ugin is a silly card. Ugin just wins games on its own. All right. Well. That only took forever and a half, but oh, we got a Fay of Wishes. Finally. Finally. Living up to its name. Just, just. Uh, fair enough, I suppose. That's what happens when you throw a deck together in, what, fewer than three minutes, was it? No, it was more than that, right? Alright, but that's that's it for me for now. <laughs> Take care, Magic Community. I guess I'll see you all next time. Adios. Bye-bye.